Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. I'm Michael from DxO, and today we'll look in detail at the options available for processing your photos in Pure Raw. When you're ready to process your RAW files, and click on the Process Now button at the bottom right of the interface, the Processing dialog box will appear. Here, you'll find all the parameters which can be applied to the current selection of photos. The first part is dedicated to the Processing and Denoising methods. Four options are available. High Quality is a fast denoising method giving a standard result. Prime is a more advanced denoising algorithm based on a probabilistic model, which can be quite demanding of processing time. Deep Prime is an extremely versatile, AI-based demosaicing and denoising method capable of retrieving the maximum amount of detail while removing all the noise present in your image, especially at high ISO. Deep Prime XD is a variation of Deep Prime dedicated to extracting additional refined details. Note that both Deep Prime and Deep Prime XD are based on complex algorithms which demand a great deal of processing time. Below this, if DxO Optics modules are available for the selected images, then you'll have access to optical corrections. Lens softness applies a correction to the image's lens softness, increasing the sharpness of the image based on our in-house calibration. You have four levels of strength, from soft to hard. Vignetting compensates for the loss of luminosity on the border of the image. Chromatic aberration removes colour fringing, especially visible in high contrast areas. Lens distortion applies the renowned DxO optical distortions corrections to your image and lets you decide whether the image needs to be cropped to its original ratio from the centre of the image area, cropped to the maximum rectangle in the image area, or if the complete image area should be retained including the black areas created by the distortions corrections. Then you can set the output file formats. DNG is the recommended format since it's ideal for further editing in third-party applications. JPEG is a compressed file for which you can set the level of quality to balance with file size. TIFF, including either the 8-bit, 8-bit compressed or 16-bit variety, is a heavier file format, which also contains a lot of information for further editing or archiving of your files. You can select one or more output formats at once, according to your needs. Then you can set the destination, either by selecting a DxO subfolder that will be created within the original image folder, or by specifying a custom one. You can also determine a naming convention for the output files by choosing file renaming and setting a prefix or suffix, or even both, that will be added to the output file name. You can automatically add the chosen processing method to the file name in order to identify your exports more easily, or use custom tech if required. Finally, you can choose whether to export your files directly to a third-party application such as Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom for further editing. You can instead choose other applications by clicking the Select Software option from the drop-down menu. You can also tick the option to Export with Original RAW File, which will open the original RAW files in addition to the processed results. And with that, you know everything you'll need to use Pure RAW's processing options for getting the best out of your RAW files. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website, dxo.com. Thank you for your attention, and see you soon for new tutorials.